So you join us at Hillhead uh, 2022, a couple of years delayed this show. Nice to be back at the plant show. And uh, we'll see what we can find. I'll, uh, I'll do little snippets of things that I see that I think are interesting. And uh, most of the big manufacturers are here, a couple aren't, no cat, no JCB. Um, but I'll see what I can film and uh, keep you updated. So we've got Volvo's ECR 58F. This is their latest uh, six ton machine now. And I have to say, I quite like the, I quite like the look of it. It's got some good styling. As usual, it's a kind of compact radius machine. Hydraulics at the back, um, engines in the side. Let's see if we can have a look. Panels are all plastic again, which I'm not like hugely against, but they've done a better job of strengthening it. This is all sort of one molded piece of ABS, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, obviously Volvo's own, own engine. Access isn't bad, dipstick. You can see some bits in there. Filters around the front, it's quite nice. Although the cover seems hard enough to lower. There we go. Well, that's fiddly enough and it's brand new at a plant show. Anyway. Again, quite thin on the plastics at the back, but nice enough looking machine. Um, one thing that's been pointed out is the door is like super flimsy. See it bouncing about. When you close it, it even rattles at the, at the top, like it's not, not closed. Bit of a shame. But when you get that open, it's got, um, drop my bag off. It's got quite a nice cab. Nice high back seat. Bit of a storage bin for stuff. You can actually get something in there. Something for a cup. We like a cup holder. And I just like, it's got really wide visibility here. Tracking pedals are good. Um, you know, you can use your heels on them really nicely. I mean, that Hitachi I was in the other day was horrendous for that. But this is, this is even bigger than that cab, I think. It's just a really nice place to place to be. Got the screen, don't know what that's like when you turn on. Um, those are blades nice and to hand, which is which is nice. Rexroth levers are all tidy. Keys down here, fancy switches, an aircon and a bit of a fancy knob probably for sorting the radio out. It's a nice machine, loads of room. Look, this is a full reach arm here and I'm sat in the chair, plenty of room. Um, within the cab. So no headlining, bit plasticky, radios up here. No, overall, um, I think that's a nice enough machine. Go on, Jace. Go and be Parker. You're all millionaires, just got to get the gold out of the ground. Well, it looks a lot bigger in real life than it does on the telly. Absolute monster. The size of the track roller, look. It's the size of my hand. Massive thing. They used to report the paint's better around here as well. Nice bit of kit. We've got the 27D here as well. This is a machine that would be a competitor for my 8026. And I do like these. If there was a dealer in my area, I'd be, I'd be very keen to try one out. Little side opening window on the front, which actually does open all the way. So you have a decent amount of air space. Um, although you don't get anything at the back and that's really where you want the air coming in. Um, some nice details in this. The tracking levers are really actually usable, which in a little machine like this, I mean, that's a full size pedal in there. And you'd think it would take up a load of floor space, but because you've got no pedals down here at all, if you can see past my knee, there's actually tons of room for your feet. So this actually feels like a, a you know, a, a proper size machine. 
Um, Rex Roth levers feel nice. Um, you've got your throttle and um, switches and fuel gauge, etc., down here. And auto idle, which is a really nice touch on a, on a machine like this. Um, heater blows at the windscreen. Uh, don't think this one's got air. I think you can spec aircon in these, um, but I haven't, uh, haven't tried it. Obviously, haven't looked at the brochure. Um, yeah, feels a nice machine. There's some little touches. If I can get the windscreen open, which is a one-handle operation. See how the the windscreen protrudes forward of the of the edge, so it would actually miss the miss the windscreen if it was raining. Any rain that comes off of here would would sort of hit here. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, and this comes undone. Bottom screen comes undone really easily. Um, slides up into the top window so the whole thing can come up which is an absolutely brilliant feature something that cat do um, as well so yeah all this would would lift up and, and slot into here um, which I really like so you could then get the whole front open in in seconds uh, nice uh, nice little machine we'll have a look around the outside So you've got plastic bodywork again, which is a bit, it's my only criticism really with these, a bit flimsy, um, but as an owner operator, you'll, you'd be fine with it. Um, access is tight. The thing is that they call this a, um, a sort of a compact radius machine. It's not their zero, the ECR25 is, um, but what essentially they've done is taken the same cab size chassis and shift it back on the slew ring. So the, it, it, the, the front of the king post is, is moved back. Um, that's kind of why they've done that. Otherwise, very tidy. Hose routing, car stiffer, nice bit of kit. Absolute monster. 8.50. Reckon I could shift a few tons with that. Probably do a day's work in five minutes. Did notice a bit of rust here though, look. Not ideal, is it? Brand new machine at a show. A serious cooling pack. What a weapon. The size of the bucket. <laughs> how do you, uh, how do you get out of there to grease it? <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. The finance payments are a bit steep. Monster. Yeah. No crickets either. Oh. No, you don't want mine in today. No, I'd be graded. Yeah. Get an on. Get it on the sports pitches. <laughs> yeah, wider tracks, a few turf pads. Be alright. So this is the new Mini. 1.2 ton. I don't know how narrow the tracks go. Doesn't tell you. It's a bit sad, isn't it? 1.3 ton, it says. Um, but this is the new, the new little mini from Case. Um, I guess to compete with the Takuchi. Um, interesting little plastic back cover. Little Kubota engine in there. Access isn't bad when you get in here. It's not bad at all. Little machine. Let me get the seat down. And we'll have a so to get on this machine, you slide the arm in. It doesn't lift up. It comes out sideways. Kind of a funky idea. Um, it's got little tracker pedals though. Roll the switch. No, I ordered. Set of lights on the top. Interesting digger. Okay. Not so sure about it myself. Quality is a bit crap. And then you've got this. This is really close to your wrist. And you're like working. That's sort of in the way. 
it's like right on your wrist when, you, when you're obviously operating it. Ah, interesting idea. So, Case have spent so much money here, they've actually got a bloke with an eagle. If the wooden eagle wasn't enough, and the big blow up eagle over there, there's actually a guy with a real eagle, which is, uh, that's pretty sick. So the two piece boom on a six ton digger. It's a cute little design. It'd be interesting to see its reach from that. Didn't really show it off the best when it's parked like that. Nice enough looking machine. Controls all look nice, nice seat. Not a huge amount of room in the cab though. Got uh, traditional track pedals, they're usable, they're usable. But it's not the biggest of machines. You've got these like, I don't mind them actually, the little sort of foot rests. Good when you're working on slopes, but sometimes you do want to get rid of them as well and they are just fixed. Um, screen, nice wide windscreen, nice low lower screen actually, that's quite a nice, nice little touch. Although there is a gap. I don't know what this gap's about. So it's like gap, get your finger in there. This does lift up into here and then comes out the top. Again, that's like the Volvos, it's quite a nice little design, but yeah, not sure why we've got a gap in the, in the windscreen there. Top hung wiper. They've actually done a nice job there, that'll swing across nicely rather than working in an arc. Yeah, nice enough machine. Blade control, oh, very light blade control. Hopefully that livens up a bit when it's live. Good switch gear. Again, the machine you don't see a lot of, be interested to try one. Well, we've got the Case uh, 35, three and a half tonner. Looks all right, but what's really key is how they've really seamlessly integrated the aircon on the side of this. That is, uh, that is seamless integration of aircon. Now, so here we have a machine for when your labourer doesn't turn up in the morning and you can load yourself. It's like a bell mixer on a big track barrow frame. What a weapon. So I guess you can drive into your pile, load her up, and then drive it to where you want to pour it. But I hate to think how much it costs. This is Lugon's uh, answer to the 2.7 tonne class. And to be honest, nice looking machine. Nice clean lines. Nice and tidy. Not a bad looking digger. Kind of got the Kubota style arm with the internal routing. Yanmar engine. Not bad for service access for a little zero. Don't think that's bad at all. A little bit around the side. You can actually get a jerry can to it. Little fuel pump. Tidy hose routing. Dual aux lines. It's a nice little machine. And they haven't done a bad job of specking these, um, these lines either. So many of them finish down here and get too tight in this area and it's just gonna get ripped off. But it's, um, it's not a bad, bad little machine. Inside. Cab door's a bit flexy. We were on the flexi door Volvo thing, a bit, a bit like that with this. But quite a big step in, um, but a nice flat floor. Seat feels okay. Um, little track pedals, they are little mini ones that fold up. Um, but they are they are usable. Forward's actually harder because you hit the windscreen. Um, but back is really useful actually. They're quite high off the floor. There's, there's almost enough foot space for you to have them. Look, you can have the pedals out and actually get your feet underneath them, which is Quite a nice thing. Um, otherwise, the uh, these are just rests. So I don't actually think they're doing anything other than resting. I'm not quite sure what they're meant to be. What they're meant to be covering. You look up the footrests. Decent legroom. Probably bigger than average, actually. Cup holder. Come on. They're starting to listen. That it's got a cup holder. That's something to tempt you to buy a Chinese machine. 
Um, you can dial your aux flows here, aux one and aux two, again a nice little feature. Simple screen, temperature and um, fuel actually have dials, which is nice, not too complicated. Heat events on the screen. The dozer lever is quite long and quite light, that might liven up a bit if it was um, in use. But the controls are pretty handy. The dozer lever is a little bit far back possibly, but um, nothing crazy. Nice biggish wrist rests. I don't, they're possibly adjustable. I'm not sure how you would adjust them if you if you had to. Oh, hang on. Right, they are adjustable. So that is the higher setting. That's quite nice, isn't it? Again, a nice little feature. Um, windscreen in this, you've got this top bar here, which might be a bit annoying if you're loading into something um, higher. But otherwise, you've got a lot of room here and actually visibility generally is um, it's pretty good over the side um, you can't quite see your track it's not helped by the iDig screen being here but um, difficult to see down your track it could be a bit lower but not bad at all the rear visibility is um, is all right you've got your radio here um, switches are quite good quality actually not a bad little machine um, throttle yeah Nice, um, nice little digger. I don't know how much these would uh, these would go for, but you've got rockers on the on the roller, um, and as I say, some nice little nice little features in here for a, for a basic, simple, um, straight up machine. And the quality doesn't seem bad. I mean, looking at a couple of the welds and things, you know, it's it's not like exceptional, but we're pulling details here. You know, a bit of grind marks and things around here but nothing bad at all and for a digger you know you have to say you could certainly live with it um you know by all means i think it's um not a bad not a bad little offering that i think from lugon i think more interesting is that just having spoken to the salesman with this uh, lugon here behind me um a list price of 25 grand, including a hydraulic hitch and four buckets, which is bloody cheap in today's money, isn't it? And you have to say, there's not a lot you can knock about that machine as it stands here. Be um, interesting to try one out, give it a test, because that's a serious saving, and everything else is north of 30 grand in that class. We're in the Lugon 928F, and I think we've just found cup holder of the day. Look at this monster. What an absolute beast. Otherwise, everything else is quite nice in here as well. There's certainly nothing to be offended by at all. What a nice machine. Or certainly as it sits here anyway. Another little feature I hadn't noticed as well, you get a set of curtains, which is uh, a nice touch. Maybe come in different colors, maybe. That is a uh, nice little set of curtains in the machine, isn't it? Even a little, little joining set here as well. There's a kick going on out here. Little R1 unit. It is cute, but this one's coming in at 118 kilos. 36 kilos of gripper on it. Quite big jaws. You think the jaws stick out the back a fair way? Yeah, they cover, they come like Well, yeah, they're quite, they must fold in quite neat. But like, they'd stick out the back of the unit quite hard, wouldn't they? Yeah. But nice tidy pipe work. I like the way this comes across the front. I think that's a neat little solution to the problem. And they all enter the front of the unit here as well. So you don't have uh, quite so many hoses sticking out the back. Still two. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little units. I think they put the rotator out the back of the motor, which makes it stick out a little bit further than mine. But yeah, the R1. Well, that was Hillhead 2022. Uh, some monster machines down there uh, and it's uh, they don't lie when they say it's hot down there I think it's the only show put on possibly on the surface of the Sun um, I am absolutely burnt to a crisp and had a great day uh, met some people um, off of here and, and Instagram uh, which was pretty cool um, people recognize you it's uh, a bit of a weird feeling but uh, always good to meet you guys and chat diggers really because that's what it's all about we love we love chatting the kit so 
yeah, saw some interesting stuff. Um, a lot of it is more aimed towards the, the bigger side, and you know, I'm never, never going to be buying a, a Volvo 750, but it's pretty cool to see one in the flesh. You know, you see them on telly or Gold Rush and stuff, and it's difficult to get a feeling for how big these things are, but absolute monster machines. Um, and some cool small stuff as well, which obviously I, I've covered. Hopefully the video makes sense. Um, I kind of filmed it ad hoc really as I, as I walk around, just things I saw that take my interest. Um, things to kind of note really. Quite impressed by Lugon, I have to say. Um, the, the price especially, um, but, but also not just how, you know, how much they want to sell you one for but the quality looked good and i'd be very interested to to try one of those machines and, and see how well they drive because if it drives as good as it looks um then that's a serious contender and spoke to some of their guys who are based over in the uk who do a bit of the the kind of more european sort of r d development and feed that back to china um all smart guys uh, some ex jcb people in fact um now working for them uh, got dealers around the country. Um, one of them's in Portsmouth, which is not that far from me. So it's a uh, it's a possible. I um, don't think it's quite got the same arm length as my 8026, and obviously it's a zero tail, which isn't ideal for me. But uh, you got to say, for the money, that's, uh, that's some machine. And uh, the friend I was walking around with as well, Jason, he was looking at the um, the 140. Uh, they're much sort of obviously bigger machine. Uh, there's not a lot to not like in there either. Um, and it comes with a set of curtains as well for the windows. And you know, where can you buy a set of curtains for a machine these days? You know, it's a pretty glass touch. So um, that was a, that was a big takeaway. Um, had a really good chat with uh, Neil and Dirk from um, well, NASCO. Neil from NASCO, um, but Dirk from iDig, who's one of the uh, one of the very sort of early founding uh, guys of iDig, and uh, yeah, really good chat with them and about 3D, uh, where that potentially is going to go, and um, what the system will be when they eventually release that, what information I might need, and all of that kind of stuff. So a bit, bit techy. Didn't film it because uh, it's not well. For start the, the system isn't fully ready um, and also I was kind of trying to absorb the information myself but um, I had a really good chat with them so that was another another highlight for me um, meeting yeah meeting people um, either off Instagram things people I'd met before other other shows and things I think generally it's just nice to be back out in the sunshine um, and at plant shows again to be honest so look forward to uh, plant works next year and hopefully uh, you know a fairly regular schedule of plant shows um, going forward uh, nice to uh, nice to get out but long drive home now and got to get back to work um, you can find me my name is ollie guns on instagram you'll find me at ollie guns you find me obviously you found me on youtube my company guns contractors is on facebook um, and yeah, always interested to see uh, what you guys found here and, and thought was interesting as well because it was a, a decent, decent turnout. Shame not to see Cat here, shame not to see JCB here, especially for me. Um, but I enjoyed Volvo's hospitality, it was nice to have lunch with them. Um, kind of helped that Jason has bought a Volvo, uh, so we've managed to blag a, a nice bit of lunch with them and a beer, which is always welcome, and some hospitality setup, I have to say. Um, but anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get home, a long drive home, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Cheers.